Shimmers and sparkles! It says Sa on the gold coin. Could it be Sa's? What's it doing here then? Let's bring it back to Sa and see how she reacts.
Strange aura around this book, Re. Don't touch it. I see you visited the town of the exiled. There's still a whiff of arse on you. And a maniac. Is she dead and faded now? How do you know? The name's Pat, and I was once Arse's assistant. She was revered as Artifex's as a keeper, but in the end she turned out to be a vile maniac. She tricked us into performing the ritual of ascendancy in the name of God. 
Yet she schemed to absorb all our lives and turn us into marionettes to dance within her palm. When I discovered her true intentions, I did everything within my power to sabotage the ritual, but was unsuccessful. Everyone was turned into spirits then. Fortunately, I managed to escape, but Oss's spell caused my left hand to rot. By the time I cut it off, it was too late. The magic eventually turned me into this. Such a tragedy caused by a mere ritual. Thank you for freeing us. I have nothing to repay you. This magic staff may perhaps do you much good.
Travel with a moving chair? Ifri is impressed. Can we also try it, Ree? It seems quite convenient. Well, it's not always convenient, little one. Uh, but as a mage, I have the ability to take care of myself. I'm sorry, sir. My companion does not know when to hold his tongue. My name is Renee, and this is my friend, Ifri. I'm Ethan. A mage and a true believer in God. I'm searching for a nearby town that's known to be haunted. Pray tell, have you heard of it? Yes. Beyond the bridge, there was indeed a deserted town further west, and we encountered many rabid spirits there. There it is. Innocent souls tortured yet again. Humans should not exist in God's end garden in such a vile form. Alas, humans today seek only to survive, gradually forgetting the grace she has shown us and their piety. No wonder they fall under the curse of those crude heresies. I'm on a journey to investigate that cult-infested town at the bottom of the valley. Huh, you're too late then. Those heresies and evil spirits of which you speak have long since been swept away by Ifri and Re. May God bless you. Such devout and powerful believers you are. Yet still, I must see for myself. A chance something vile left by the heresies could defile Engarden.
Isn't that the sound of a soggy whistle? Re, let me try again. Look, it's coming! Praise my whistling skills!
but a vast expanse of desert. You know, in the beginning, there were no deserts in Ingarden.
human adventurers in a deserted place such as this? A rarity. Uh, if we sees a weird traveler with a strangely big spatula. How rude, little one. I'm Emily, a traveling conjurer, and I'm on a quest seeking only the most delicious meal. I was told that a rare kind of ingredient called ancient spiritual meat can be found around here. If you could bring it to me, I can make you my signature dish, the heroic grill. Grill? Of course! If we wants the grill! I would be willing to also make other dishes for you, so long as you have the ingredients.
Nice to run into you again. You gave me advice about traveling, and it has never faded from my mind. See, this place is quite clean. I can rest and relax here. There seems to be a powerful force protecting the teacups. Monsters in the forest are too fearful to come near. When I tap these teacups, they emit different sounds. But what for? I don't understand. <laughs>